If you only had a hundred dollars to invest today, what would what would you what should you invest it in? Um, that's a good question, and I think uh, you know what what I think might be different, but um, I think it depends on what you're investing what you know so you know if you eat at McDonald's three times a day and 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 you that's the only place you go is McDonald's you know maybe you should invest in McDonald's if if you go to Starbucks every day maybe you should invest in Starbucks but um a lot of people panic when <clears throat> things go down and get overly excited when things go up and you know if you buy a McDonald's hamburger for a dollar uh, today and then tomorrow you walk in and, and they're selling the same hamburger for 20 cents I mean, are you are you not going to eat the hamburger because it's on sale, or because the the price dropped? Um, of course not. You might you might buy two hamburgers. You might buy three. You might you might you might buy one for your sister. You might buy one for your neighbor. You you might buy one for the homeless person. So. When people invest in, in whether it's stocks or um, precious metals or real estate or um, Britney Spears tickets or w whatever it is, artwork, um, you know, you got to know what you're what you're buying and what you're investing in. Um, You know, uh, you gotta feel comfortable um, if the price drops fifty percent tomorrow, and you're gonna be prepared and ready to um, buy more and, and keep buying and and just dollar cost average over time. <clears throat> um, or you know, if you're scared of losing money, you know, you might. Uh, just invest in something that just gives a little return. Um, whether it's government bonds or 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 whatever, but um, but you can lose money in bonds too, as most of the banks know um, that a lot of them almost came close to going out of business recently because if if everyone they only keep 10% of the money in the bank. So if if everyone came to the bank at once and all everybody wanted to withdraw their money, you know, they were underwater in the bonds and then they um, they were also underwater in the real estate. But that's another story. But anyway, that was my my point is um, invest in what you know and, and you know if, if you only want to get a 3% return you know that's that's better than nothing I mean usually uh, inflation is only 2% a year so um, you know if you do if you do absolutely nothing you, you're gonna lose because let's say Let's say you live for 50 years, and 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 every year, um, two you get charged two percent um, interest just just from inflation. Like over over time, the value of the dollar will will decrease. Um, 
And an example of that was, I don't know, in 1996, a, Wendy, a Wendy's double stack cost a dollar eight. You know, a <clears throat> dollar or it was 99 cent, and then tax was like a dollar eight or a dollar seven or something like that. And what is it today? You know, um, but if for 50 years, if you lose 2%, you've lost a hundred percent you lost a hundred percent of your um, your buying power <clears throat> and um, the last couple years due to COVID um, inflation is higher so it's even more pronounced I mean uh, anyone that buying homes knows that you know some of the home prices have gone up 14 percent in in you know in one year um, you know food has gone up gas has gone up and it makes it really hard for the people that are the poorest because they don't own many assets and and if you own financial assets whether that's real estate or whether that is um, stocks or what have you um, they go up with inflation Um, I don't know uh, I'm curious to what questions you guys might have and I'm not no financial expert or nothing I just uh, you know uh, don't take what I say as financial advice I'm not a um, financial advisor um, but I do want to help people and I think I believe that I can help the most amount of people by increasing their wealth either by teaching them how to properly um, achieve that or or by investing uh, their money for them and and assets that will beat the S&P 500 index and, and get a, a premium return on your on your money. All right, thank you for listening.